So I've been thinking about monitoring in GitLab and I think right now our ambition is like, well, if you want really good dashboards, you should probably use Grafana, not GitLab. And we're starting to point people that way. That's not how we ever got GitLab into like best in class. And if we keep sending all the people that want more away instead of having them improve GitLab, that we're not going to get there. GitLab is about a single interface. We need to be the interface. We cannot have another app be the interface. And I know that it's a lot of work to get there, but we choose each charge. They're pretty good. I think we can make them better. And our, I don't think our ambition level should be Grafana. Grafana is awesome. But I think our ambition level should be Datadog. Datadog makes it really good to go from alert to metrics to logs. Um, that should be what GitLab does. Go Because that's the flow. Like there's a problem, you dive into it, you look at the metrics, and then sometimes you also have to look at the logs. That's what we should provide. That is the, the best user experience known currently. Um, we should learn from that and that should be our ambition level. So we have to racket it up kind of two notches. Um, I'm not sure how tracing fits in here. I think I propose we forget about tracing for now. I don't think Datadog does. I'm not sure how Datadog does tracing. I think it's hard. I'm not sure it's a substitute for logs or it comes after it. Um, I'm cool with like embedding, iframing uh, Jaeger for now, but we need to get moving on uh, on the monitoring front and, and build a, a world-class user experience there. What is happening in the monitoring market is that one's printing money because you pay per for storage, um, which is great for all the providers. And I, but we can be a disruptor here. We're open source, so you're not going to pay for storage as long as you provide the storage. So we'll have a dual business model with people using um, self-hosted GitLab, self-managed GitLab, they can, they don't have to pay per gigabyte. I think that's going to be really attractive because I think people are seeing their, seeing their logging and metrics bills go through the roof. And for GitLab.com, people can pay us for the extra storage. So it will be a way to kind of do consumption pricing and generate additional income for GitLab.com. But we, uh, we do have to get it into a single application. And I think we can. And we have great building blocks. We can base it on Prometheus, like we already do for metrics. You can base the logging on Elasticsearch, but we do have to supply the interface. And that's a lot of hard work, but uh, we have the, the talent and the, the, the people to, uh, to start doing that. And I think it's really important to visualize this, our ambition, because I, I think people kind of have a hard time visualizing where we're gonna go and uh, so I, I lost some sketches. I lost some help from our UX team. I love help to like sketch how this is going to work in GitLab. And in GitLab, we can make it a more seamless flow than anywhere else. And we can just generate a whole lot of value for our users and customers. Um, so well, my short ambition level for monitoring, uh, any input? I like it. Um, so it sounds like you're willing to focus on logging and defocus tracing for now. Um, I think, yeah, I think I think in tracing we should do the iframe. I think we know what to do there. It's easy to do it. I think there's been a bit of confusion about the security implica implications there. We can just put a warning above it, like, hey, in the screen below, you should never see a login prompt. If so, report abuse. And we can just iframe uh, Jaeger. That's okay. something we should do. That's not, that doesn't seem like a lot of work. But other than that, I'm okay with focusing on logging. Like, we need to start aggregating the logs. Right now, we have people go out to the pods. We need to start sending them back by default. We need to start having Elasticsearch as a GitLab managed application to do that. But also, lots of interfer interface work to be done. Okay, <clears throat> makes sense to me. Uh, if you could s attach a link to the recording, I'll make sure Kenny yep. and, and Dove, the APM PM, see it. 